60 seconds. Can somebody get Buzz off the phone? Nate, how's LA? How's the TV show? Actually, they suck. Check this out. I got you down. All right. How you doing? Welcome to the Buzz. show. My name is Buzz. 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 What? Don't do that. That's my thing, Buzz. Yeah, right. You're the greatest, Nate. Uh, excuse me. I have a trivia question. How many people are playing the game today? Got it. All right, player one, why don't you give me your handle, so to speak? All right, player two, we need your name next. 45 seconds. Good deal. Now, player three, could you spell your name for us? Hey, you know what? I also need to know if you had plans for a 21-question game or a 7-question game. Roger Start a new one, Clark. Hey, Smitty. Yeah, old man. Is it player seconds. one, your buzzer is the letter Q. Q as in patchwork quilt. Player two, your buzzer is B as in Billy, don't be a hero. And player three, your buzzer is P as in pneumonia. If you don't believe me, look it up. Yeah, okay. Don't panic. I right, they got the court already. Why is this so hard for you to do? 20 seconds. Oh, hello. All right. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of questions. First person to hit their buzzer gets first crack at the cash. Pick the answer you think is right and hit the number on the keyboard. If it's a fill in the blank, just type in your answer, okay? 10 seconds. Good luck. Okay, Nine. let's lose Eight. the desktop. No, Seven. And Six. get a black. Okay, you're up, Buzz. Four. Three. Stand by. Here you go. Have a good one. You Consult physician before using. You may not really be a leper. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Woohoo! This is the show. Welcome, you three. Everybody bring their wetsuits today. Glad you're here. Otherwise, I'd be talking to myself, and then I'd feel self-conscious. Now then, first thing, we gotta give you your screws. Look out, watch your hands. Here's the deal with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make them answer it anyway, buzz in and then hit the S key. See, we choose the S because that's the first letter of the word screw. It's an interface thing. All right, let's do it. Clear two, it's all yours. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. And this category is All work and no play makes Jack a dull game. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Remember that scene in the movie The Shining where Jack Nicholson goes into the hotel room and finds that beautiful woman bathing in the tub? If Jack Nicholson were the Greek mythological character Actaeon and the naked woman he stumbled upon were Artemis, what would she do to him? She would turn him into a stag and have dogs rip him up, kiss him, then turn into a hideous old woman, condemn him to push a rock up a hill forever, or release the spawn of hell to suck on his flesh. Player one, go nuts! Release the spawn of hell to suck on his flesh? No, but speaking of things that suck. Player two, player three, who wants it? Player two, it's yours! Nope, that's what happened in the movie. Do, do you have trouble separating fiction from reality? God, I, I hope you don't think I'm, I'm like your best friend or something. <laughs> Player three, it's wide open. <laughs> Player three, take it. Nope, that would be the story of Sisyphus. <laughs> and I'm not brave enough to call Jack Nicholson a sissy. Here's the right answer. <laughs> Artemis turned Actian into a stag and Hans chewed him to pieces. Eat your heart out, sick greedy. All right, next up. Hey, cool paint job. Get this right, get two thousand dollars. Hey, open your eyes and look at this picture and tell me what would be the best name for this painting. Starry Night Rider, Starsky and Hunt, The Dukes of Dada, or Van Gogh Speed Racer, go! go. It's Kit, the car from Night Rider, inserted into Van Gogh's painting, Starry Night. <laughs> Michael, my readings indicate a severe drop in our Nielsen ratings. 
Player one, pick one. Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three. This one's gonna be. Those guys are nuts. And 1,000 bucks is riding on this question. Okay, take a shot at this. Imagine the Mad Hatter and March Hare from Alice in Wonderland fall victim to March Madness. Which of these behaviors would they probably be exhibiting? Watching lots of Wonderland U basketball, going coatless to outdoor spring tea parties, using the caterpillar's hookah to smoke hash, or stuffing the dormouse into a pot of tea. March Madness is a term used to describe all the high school and college basketball championships held in March. <laughs> Yeah, the Queen of Hearts told those two to get a life or she'd chop off their heads. Alright, player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Shake it up the floor. Shake it up the floor. Category. Low tech hack. 2,000 bucks for right answer. Okay, ready? Complete this analogy. Pong is to Doom as, Walkman is to Pac-Man, Sega is to Victrola, 8-Track is to Dat, or Hi-Fi is to Nintendo. Go. Player 1, who you want to stick it to today? Player 2, you're getting screwed. Make the most of it. Hi-Fi, bye-bye. Player 1, Player 3, who wants it? Go wild, Player 3. As we say in Russia, yet. Player one, it's yours if you want it. Player one, go nuts. Pong is to doom, as a track is to digital audio tape, or low tech meets high tech. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy, I don't know about all those doom games, all that violence and mayhem. How about a nice calm trivia game? <laughs> Player one, hit me with the category. Number five. Category, let's do it. There is no language in our lungs. 2,000 bucks riding on this one. It's time to fill in the blank. Limber up those fingers. When you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. You finally found out where that damn Carmen San Diego is hiding out. Brazil. Because it's Brazil's official language, what language should you learn before going to apprehend her? Take it away, player one. Type in your answer and hit return. In Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Which you may think is strange, but stranger still, they don't give a damn where Carmen San Diego is. Player one, what are we doing? Uh oh, press fights with Mime Door. It's time for a ticklish pastor. The category for this gibberish question is unimaginative cooking shows. Five thousand bucks is the opening value here. All right, I'm taking cash away every second and a half. So the faster you are, the more you score. Okay, tell me with what popular phrase does this rhyme? Rick cakes done. Chew dough bun. And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. First clue, it's a childish retort. A retort to someone who calls you a name. I'm rubber, you are glue. Last one. Take it away, player three. Type in your answer and hit return. Oh, oh, you were so close, I, I got a little excited. Hey, I got an idea. Why doesn't a real contestant buzz in now? Boy, you sure can't cook it all. You're a big fat idiot. Oh, yeah? Well, um, grit cakes done, chew dough bun. <laughs> Shut up! Oh. Of course, when anyone calls me a name, I simply reply, Go f*** your mother, you dirty little mother f Works for me. Player three, what are we doing?
attack is now. If you see two words that match, buzz in. A right answer nets you two grand. But every wrong answer drops you down two grand. Listen, not all matches are true. Remember the clue. Only buzz in on a match that fits this clue. Brought to you by the cruel writers of You Don't Know Jack. some hand gestures. Uh, let me just put it like this. You don't know Jack! Very good show, everybody. Um, let's roll commercials and Cookie, what's going on here? Congratulations! You guys got on the high scoreboard and everything. Not like anybody was already on the high scoreboard, but whatever. So when you get off your little cloud, why don't you tell me if you want to play again, okay? Hi, it's me, Tammy, and I have a really bad case of food poisoning.